Katie's Precious Angels Reborn Nursery. Hi guys, it is Katie and I am here because I have a couple packages to open finally. Finally, finally here. I waited a while for both of these. Um, one of them, I've ordered this many, many times, the, what's in here. Um, and it usually only takes two or three days to get here. This time it took 13, which was super annoying because I have a couple uh, sweet little painted hair babies that are ready to be um, put together. And I didn't have enough glass beads to put them together. So I had to wait. So basically I'm just here to show you what I got in these two packages because why not? Alright, so let's go ahead and open this one. And you guys, I'm sure, know what this is already. And, yeah, so I'm going to see if I can't. Alright, let's see. Oh my gosh, it's heavy, guys. So this is 50 pounds. Oh my gosh. Well, maybe. I don't know if I can even... Oh gosh. Okay, well, that's not working. Like I thought it would. Let's see if I can just cut this. Because I know it's in a couple bags. Uh, just to protect it from shipping. <laughs> so this is just the outer non-rip bag, basically, I think. Okay. So I have to I have to buy another 50 pounds of these. Probably, I think the last time I bought 50 pounds was two or three months ago, I think. Um, well, what in the world? Yeah, these are non-rip bags. You have to cut them with scissors, which is good because if this box broke open, I was actually worried about that. I was actually thinking, oh man, what if the box broke open? Um, oh no, it isn't in another bag. The other ones was in a plastic bag as well. Oh well, I have a really, I have a large cooler that I put mine in. So, there you go. If you guys can see them, they are glass beads for my Reborns. And I love playing in them. They feel, they're like really cold because they're little circular glass beads. See-through. But here, let me see if I could pick a bunch up and show you again. Here they are. They're literally little circles. So for you that don't know what glass beads are supposed to look like, this is them. There are other kinds, but this is the kind that, in my opinion, I feel like should be in Reborns. The other kind looks white and it kind of looks like sand. And people often mistake it for sand. So... Yeah, so I just, I think these should be, is what should be in Reborns, but that is my opinion. I burnt myself again, guys. I keep burning myself on my oven. I know it looks like cuts, but I swear to you, it's not cuts. It's burned from my uh, metal New Wave oven, the ring. I accidentally lay my wrist on it way too much. Anyways, I really like playing in these, and again, this is 50 pounds. Um, so I'll have to have somebody lift this bag and <clears throat> dump it in the cooler for me because it's pretty heavy. But yeah, so that is the first box opening. It is my glass beads that go in my Reborns. Only the best in my Reborns, guys. Only the best. So this bag... Whoa, whoa, whoa. So this bag... was about $55 and then 20 for shipping. So yeah, not too bad. I mean, everything for Reborns are expensive. That is why Reborns cost so much because the stuff in them is not cheap stuff. It's truly not cheap. It's actually <laughs> costs a lot of money. But yeah, so that is the glass beads. <laughs> And I will have one of my kids or somebody help me um, put them in my um, uh, cooler that I use to store my... Okay, now this, this came from Estonia. And I, um, you guys know that I'm processing some alpaca hair myself. I bought some raw, non-dyed, non-cleaned alpaca hair a while back. 
and I am processing that. There will be videos of that soon. But what I did is I wanted to order some very high quality, very expensive um, alpaca hair to uh, see the quality of the stuff that after I process it to make sure it is good, nice quality. And now that I look at this, which this package right here was almost $200 and you'll see it's very little, but it's expensive. You know, it's it, the quality is amazing. And looking at the quality of this and the quality of the hair that I'm processing, I actually think it's going to turn out really, really good. So that's the reason I bought this um, very high quality, very expensive stuff was cut because I wanted to make sure the stuff that I'm processing was as soft and looked as nice and, you know, uh, rooted as nice and stuff like that. So let's check out what I have in here. Again, this was um, a little under $200 for this. And it is alpaca hair. And let's see. Okay, so this is chocolate. Oh, it kind of fell down. Hold on. I want to show you how long it is. And it is so soft. So very soft and nice. I bought this off of Etsy. And here, this is the chocolate. And I don't... Seven grams. This was, I think each of these was like 20-something dollars. I can't remember exactly because I'm not in front of it. But each little package like this was 20-something dollars. Um, and it's beautiful. So this is chocolate, yeah. Very pretty, very soft. So that's the chocolate one. And then the next one is the color Jasmine. Again, this is seven grams. I hope you can see it because I have my bright uh, lights on, but look how pretty it is. And it's very, very soft. I love it. So this is the color Jasmine. It's like a blonde. And then we have Sunny Red. This is another seven grams. It's like a blondish reddish color very very pretty very expensive but very pretty and worth it in my opinion all right and then we have Yavanna another seven grams this is another blonde I like to have different blondes like different color browns different color blondes different color reds so people have you know I do custom babies so people get you know so there's more of a selection for them. And then we have out. I don't know if this is the color or the name of the animal that it comes off of. Alex. Seven grams. Either way, I don't know. This is a brown, like a lightish brown color. Very pretty, very soft. And then the, <clears throat> oh, there's one more. Okay, there's another one in there. And this is the, this is Betty. Okay, the, the names I've been reading are the names of the animals, guys. Sorry, I was thinking it was the colors. Okay, so this is a sample. Um, I'm pretty sure she gave me this one for free because um, uh, I didn't get a tracking number and I and I contacted her and she gave me a track. She's a very nice woman, but here's a free one. So that is awesome. It's like a dark brown reddish. And I love it. And then the last one is from Blade Angel. And it is black. And this is a little bit shorter one. But still very usable. I could probably, with one of these bags, with this right here, I could probably root one, well, probably two sparsely rooted babies but one um fuller head of hair baby with micro root of course and probably i if i did mono like one hair per hole i could probably root three babies with this so i mean it just depends on how you root so yeah very very pretty and again i just basically bought this because i wanted to see the quality and um 
I wanted to make sure the stuff that I'm processing is going to be high quality is basically why and actually I really do now that I've seen this I will show you guys in a video later once I get more of it processed but um, now that I've seen this hair and know that this is ex expensive high quality hair I 100% believe that the hair that I am um, washing cleaning and dyeing is going to be amazing high quality hair as well so okay guys that is all for this rambling, just <laughs> all over the place video, like always. But um, I will be back. I got. Uh, I will be back to do little Stanley Oliver's birth. I was gonna show him in this video, but it's kind of got long, so I will do that a separate video when I am. Um, now that I got my glass beads, I can put him together. So, all right, guys, that is all, and I will talk to y'all soon. Bye.